Hello, Mario here. Today we're going to talk about using a camera in Toon Boom Harmony. It doesn't matter where your background comes from. Could be from Harmony, drawn in Harmony, could be drawn in Photoshop, could be from 3D, could be from your phone. It doesn't matter where your background comes from as long as we plan. Hope you have fun. Working with the camera in Toon Boom Harmony is actually quite fun. It doesn't really matter where your background comes from. It could come from Harmony, like I said earlier. It could be from Photoshop, could be from 3D, Maya or Blender. Um, could be from your phone, could be from a camera. It doesn't really matter. The only thing is we have to have the right resolution for your camera move to look good. And that's what's important. Okay, so we're going to talk about the resolution and how to do that, how to plan for it, how to know how much resolution we actually have for our camera move, and then we're going to jump into our camera move. In order for your camera moves to look good, in any software, we have to have enough resolution for those camera moves. Now if you want your background to look like crap, skip this step. So in order to do that, we have to plan. Now the best thing is, is we already storyboard, so most of our planning is right there. And our storyboards will actually tell us what resolution our Photoshop files will be, or what resolution we have to render our back or render our scenes in Maya or Blender. So storyboards in Viz Dev really do help us plan the resolution we need. In this case, I'm looking at a Viz Dev shot that was in Maya, and I have to plan how much resolution I have to render this scene to do a 2D camera work on it, which is kind of crazy that we're gonna blend all these different mediums together, but it's a lot of fun. So this could this image could be from Photoshop even. The important thing is we know what resolution this image is. So how do we do that? Well the first thing is in our storyboards we always put a rectangle that dictates where our camera will be. That's beautiful. That helps us so much because we know that rectangle is our camera and our camera is what shows up on our TV. So if we look at the resolution of our TV, it tells us the re resolution of our camera, which tells us the resolution of the background. It kind of works together. So let's, let's break that down. So we know in this storyboard shot, whether it's, from, whether it's drawn, whether it's in Photoshop, whether it's in VizDev, whether it's in Maya, Blender, as soon as we draw that rectangle, we know that rectangle is the resolution of our TV, okay? Or what we're gonna view this video on. So our TV is 1920 by 1080. Now if it's 4K, you have to put the 4K numbers in there, okay? But for simplistic purposes, let's stick to 1920 by 1080. So we know that rectangle's resolution is 1920 by 1080. Now if you look at the background, it's actually much larger than that rectangle. So that means the resolution is much larger than that rectangle. So do the math. If this is the width of that, that camera position, and that image is three high, one, two, three, then we know we have to take 1080 and times it by three. And same with the width. Right? If we know this is 1920 and it's twice that, then we times it by 2. So just do that type of math. And this is what it would look like. So if that width is 2 times 1920, then our width is 3840. And if our height is 3 times the height, then it's times 3. 1080 times 3 is 3240. I had to look. <laughs> so make sure you storyboard your shot, your camera shot, before you even start your Photoshop file. Storyboard it. Sketch it out. Just loose. Stick your rectangle in there. And then do the math. So here's a shot that was actually rendered in Blender. But I want to bring it into Harmony to do some 2D animation on it. Now, if you notice in my project here, 
I have a couple layers there of animation. Um, I actually am not going to animate in this particular video. Right now we're just going to concentrate on camera moves. But the nice thing is, is you don't have to worry about where the background comes from. It could come from your phone, could come from Blender, could come from Maya, could come from Photoshop. And you just bring it in as, as a bitmap file, file, import, images. And I just imported it, keeping it as an original bitmap. And you would set this to pan. And what that does is it allows it to be larger than the camera, which we want, because we're going to pan on it. So if you look at my background here, it's actually larger than that default camera. That is the default camera. That's what that rectangle is. So once you have it in here, you can animate, you can animate even off of this default camera. Okay, you can animate way over here, you can animate way over here. It doesn't really matter because we're actually going to move this rectangle. That's actually going to be our camera. So to move a camera in Harmony, we actually have to attach it to a peg. Now in my previous video, I talked about different ways that we can use a peg. Well, this is a different way. We can actually attach a camera to a peg. Now, how do you visualize that? Well, let's think of it in real world. We have our camera, okay? And um, we may choose to attach our camera to a tripod. And wherever we move that, helps if I turn this around, there we go. <laughs> if we move the tripod, the camera moves with it. If we move the peg, the camera moves with it. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do right now. So again, we're inside of Harmony and we're actually going to add a camera to the scene. And a camera is actually its own layer. So we add new layer, which is this plus key, camera. Okay, now you can see the, cam the rectangle light up for us. So now we know where the camera is, but we're not going to move it yet. What we're going to do is add a parent peg to that camera. So I'm going to click the camera Add another layer, parent peg. So now our camera is movable by that peg. Okay, so now that we're ready to actually do our camera move and key it, we have to think about two things. Where's our camera gonna start and where's our camera gonna end? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna key the peg, not the camera, I left it over there. We're gonna key the peg's starting location and key the camera's ending location. So whenever we're going to key anything in Harmony, that's when we turn on our animation button. That's the only time we have this on, is when we're setting keys. And then I'm going to use the transform tool underneath it to actually move this camera peg. So let's do that. Let's go to frame one on the camera peg and move this camera to a starting point. Okay, so that will be my starting location. And if you notice on the timeline, I actually have a key on frame one now. Now let's say it's going to take me 20 frames to truck out. So let's go to frame 20 on the camera peg. And I'm going to truck out now. So now I have my camera's starting location, my camera's ending location, and that gives us our camera move. And it's pretty fast because it's only one second, it's less than one second long. It's only 20 frames. So if I want to slow that down, I can click, then click and hold and move that over. Whoops, let's do that again. Click, click and hold, move it over. And we'll play that again. I could slow it down more. Okay, 
Now I could do another camera move after that. So I'm on frame 40, that's my end position. Let's say I want to just truck in really, really quick. So I'm going to do it in 10 frames. And I'm going to truck in and maybe move it up to the window. So now I have my starting key, key, my second key, and when I truck into the window really quickly. So let's watch that. Okay, now let's say you want to hold, right? That seemed really fast, truck out, move over to the window. Okay, what if you want to hold and then go to your window? Let's do that. So what I want to do then is I'm going to move this key further. Let's say to frame 60. And I'm going to copy this key because I like this. I want to hold here. So I'm going to copy it. Control C. 10 frames later, I'm going to paste it. Control V. So now these two keys are identical. If you notice up here, the camera is not moving. Then it moves to the window. Let's watch that. There's a quick way to do a camera move in Harmony. Hope it was helpful. So just some final tips for you. Have enough resolution for your camera move. Plan it. When you're setting up your scene or animating, turn the animation button off or the animate button off. When, you, when you're ready to animate your camera move, then turn the animate button on. Never use the delete key to delete keys. Use F7. So if you do a camera move that you don't like and you want to delete one of the keys that you created, use F7. Don't use the delete key. It could cause you problems. And lastly, use the transform tool with the animation button on to move your peg that holds the camera. Have fun. Come on, Harmony, load. Come on. Come on. Load, Harmony. Come on, Harmony. <gasps> Wait, where'd it go? Done. Dun, dun, dun.